Oh, we shit. Had Holy crap, we actually, I think we timed that pretty good. I think we did, <laughs> except, except he said, he, he went like one, and then like, or he said two, and then didn't say one, and it threw me the fuck off, so. No, you never say one. <laughs> if you say one, it'll bleed over into the broadcast, man. <laughs> Get with the fucking program. Oh, my God. How's it going tonight, everybody? We are doing, uh, we're going to do our normal podcast, but we're going to be flying while we're doing the podcast. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be flying an airplane while talking about horror stories. So we're doing, tonight, we're doing travel <laughs> horror stories. And Nick's got a really good one about Las Vegas, but. Uh, we already heard that one like 500 uh, times. No, YouTube hasn't heard it, though. It's oh, a classic. God. YouTube has not heard it. I mean, it depends on how, how quickly you want to be banned from YouTube. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get let me get my shit set up here. Uh, let's see. Oh, flight director. No, oh, man, I got my flight I got to get my flight director and all that you shit turned on. You drop my croissant. <laughs> you, fly, you fly like a man. Oh, uh, like I'm gonna give some shout outs tonight. Foxy Mailman and Mark Weston and um oh shit, I forgot how to say your name. At Pay Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Avery, that, Avery, that's what it is. We're, we're going to talk about travel nightmares, and me and Chris are going to create some travel nightmares. Yeah, we're going to create some. poor souls on each of our planes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys at least serve peanuts on your planes? I serve, uh, I serve these nuts. Yes, these Nick nuts? does serve peanuts. Yeah. I serve uh, I serve dried broccoli. <laughs> and don't even give them motherfuckers no ranch. Yeah, dried broccoli. Because if you're if you're gonna fly with me, you're gonna shit yourself. So you might as well get you might as well go ahead and get the get the yeah, shit going. James, so James hopping in from Facebook. How's he going? Ooh, yeah. Oh yeah. All right. God, yeah. Let me know when you're taking <laughs> off, Daddy. I'm taking off nowish. Fuck it. Let's do it. I can't throw it all the way up. I'm so waiting until my fucking my jets spool up though. They're taking a second. There we go. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Gas is just flying. We're out rolling. Flying. There we go. I just realized my last flight I flew with the fuck. Oh man, that dude fucking fucked up his approach badly. <laughs> that oh. totally his approach. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the travel story. I know uh, Colton's got some uh, got some shit going. So Colton, why don't you go first while Nick and I are trying not to kill everybody real quick? Oh yeah, don't kill yeah. anybody just yet. So this person had been doing some uh, uh, hostels, Europe thing, like traveling around Europe and stuff, and he met a guy from New Zealand who had an extra ticket to a Beck concert at Wembley. Ooh. Don't know who that is. I'm, you don't I'm, know who Beck is? I, I, I'm, I'm a country-only person. So. We can't be friends, dude. Oh, he doesn't oh. know who Beck is? Hey, James, thank you for sharing the stream, brother. <laughs> Maybe I'm a little... <laughs> you don't know who <laughs> Beck is? Maybe I have heard him. I'm not too familiar with him. Just quiet. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, bought off the ticket. It was cheap, and uh, spent the all the afternoon checking stuff out. And uh, came across a Pizza Hut. Now it's been three or four months since they had a Pizza Hut, and <laughs> um, he was like, "What the hell? I was craving some U.S. junk food." Okay. Wrote down a bunch of mediocre pizza and continued Did you say on his penis? Way. No, pizza. Hell yeah, he said penis. Penis. And well, Pizza Hut, Pizza. Pizza Hut, penis, same thing. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Within a couple blocks of Wembley, felt a few t uh, twinge of gastrointestine distress. Stop in about ten, <laughs> eight or ten shops <laughs> looking for a safe place to unload, but every shopkeeper claimed to have no bathrooms. I mean, if you're that sick, I wouldn't really want you stinking up my bathroom. <laughs> I right. I can really imagine. Uh, desperation was taken hold and asked a cop where the closest John was. Followed his directions, clenching and shuffling like Charlie Chaplin the whole way. Uh, the restroom had been <laughs> approached by a bunch of drug users. Oh, shit. Uh, needles hanging out of arms, legs legs tied off uh, to get a vein. <laughs> legs? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't know you could throw it into your legs. Interesting. Uh, gear all over the place. They were shocked to see me and clearly expected me to make my excuses and leave, leave them to their vice. But there was no turning back. I weaved through them. Opened a stall, only to find some guy curled up around the stool, half naked and blue. I went to <laughs> went to the further of the three stalls, and the bowl was completely full of shit and smeared all over the seat. So That's back odd. to so back to the <laughs> back to the middle I went. Destroyed the toilet. Uh, there are junkies and sleeping dead guy laying laying on the floor Wait. and I'm unleashing the loudest, most agonizing shit I've ever experienced. I actually fe felt, feel bad for uh, putting these guys who are killing themselves feet away from me through this. 
Of course, the toilet paper is completely soaked with piss and whatever. I'm not ashamed to say that I was wearing fewer la layers of clothes when I got out of that stall than when I got in. I apologized to the junkies. The ones that were still conscious looked at me with disgust and amazement. I left feeling like a giant void in, in my misdirection. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Um, yeah. Made it to the arena with 40, 45 minutes. 45 minutes later, cleaned off a slightly more civilized setting. Um, well, I found a seat uh, in a kiwi. Don't know what Oops. that is. <laughs> uh, watched the show, smoked in, uh, rode late night buses, top deck, front seat, back of the hostel. Uh, uh, eight nats, it's okay. The the down low is like a eight nasty, eight nasty pizza hut in London. London. I thought, I thought, okay, guy. for a second, I thought you were saying Nazi. I was like, why does he? Because you said you were like the way you were saying Nazi. Nats, it sounded Nazi. like you were saying Nazi. Yeah, I, <laughs> uh, yeah it's it's nasty. It's nasty. He he's he wiped his ass with his t one of his t-shirts. Oh and wow! I've anyway. been there before. Like I've wiped my ass with a plastic <laughs> shower curtain over a friend's house. Out of a plastic shower curtain? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh boy. It's less of a wipe and more of a squeeze. Hey, real quick, real quick. I got to interrupt. I'm sorry, but I got two donations tonight. Aiden for four dollars and Foxy Mailman for ten. Thank you all very oh, much for the donations. Shit. Sorry, had to do that. Had to do that. Hold on. Aiden, you said? Gone. Yeah. Oh, Aiden, like, how you donate him so hard? And, fucking and then... Foxy Melman, <laughs> fucking Foxy, fucking deliver that goddamn donation right to his doorstep, fully nude. Over speed. Over speed. Oh, God. Over speed. Over speed. Just do it. I think, I, I, think I may know uh, why our fucking revenue streams have gone down a little bit. Over speed. Yeah. Over speed. Over speed. Uh, yeah, that's... I'm having the uh, I'm having the issue with the uh, with the overspeed again. But anyway, okay. So was that the end of your story, uh, yeah, Colton? Okay. Don't eat Pizza Hut in London. Overspeed. Right. Overspeed. Summary of that. Overspeed. Actually, just don't eat Pizza Hut. <laughs> oh my God. Last time you guys had Pizza Hut. Pizza uh, Hut? Yeah. It's been a couple of years. Yeah, it's been a while. And I think I vaguely remember shitting myself. Oh yeah. Every time I had it, I had bad uh, bad bad blowouts. So, wow. <laughs> that, that doesn't surprise me. Over speed. Over and I still have it anyway. Over speed. Over speed. Yeah, I haven't had... I don't think that I've had... Um, my God, dude. It's been... It's been a long time since I've had fucking Pizza Hut. Well, that's kind of a similar thing with uh, Taco Bell and Chipotle. Really? Chipotle, dude. They might as well. Like, their logo <laughs> needs to be a guy fucking straining with, like, you know... I like they have those wavy lines to like denote stress, like just squatting, dump, uh, like fucking dropping a big yeah. stress dump. Fucking <laughs> ass is on fire. My worst shits have been from Chipotle, yet I still love it. <laughs> there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Worst shits have been from Chipotle. And I still enjoy it. Zero collection for punishment. Man. Oh yeah. Oh boy. You guys have any of yours? Travel stories. Uh, I don't think Nick's got one. Um, so I've got one, which is similar to what's probably happening right now because I'm having some technical difficulties with my aircraft. But, um, so it looks like someone went on a flight. So this this is on Reddit, and they said once was on a flight going into Orlando and hit some unexpected turbulence. This was no ordinary turbulence. Uh, we went from zero to a hundred in an instant. People literally flew out of their seats. Luggage fell from the overhead bins. This is basically just a future uh, look into what's getting ready to happen on my stream. Um, <laughs> as we fucking crash into the as bus. as we crash into the fucking Rocky Mountains because for some reason my fucking airplane can't get the auto throttle right. Anyway. There were several sudden drops in elevation strong enough that people's arms flew up in the air. So have you all seen that meme where the Kermit's his arms are going crazy? <laughs> so yeah. it's kind of like that. Um, and let's see. And then, the, and, oh, and their butt came out of the seat. That, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty bad travel <laughs> story there. That sounds like that, sounds like that landing <laughs> that you did. That yeah, first one out seriously. The, the jungle fucking island thing. Well, it says right here, I've flown quite a bit, and sometimes it gets bumpy. This is the first time I seriously thought something bad was going to happen. So, the reason I picked that story is because I've actually been involved in a lot of pretty pretty bad, turbulent uh, conditions before. So, I fly at least two or three times a year, t usually. 
But, um... But, yeah, so that's why I picked that, because I was like, well, I can kind of relate to it, um, in a sense. Because, yeah, there was once I was flying over the Rocky Mountains, actually, which is probably kind of where, where we're near right now. And, uh, and yeah, it got really bad. Like, <laughs> of course, we happened to hit turbulence as soon as I need to go up to, to take a piss. And, uh, and as soon as I unbuckle my, my shit, I just fucking go flying and almost hit the roof. But, but yeah. Yeah, I've never... See, I only fly, like, once every, like, three years. I, I mean, I barely ever fly. Um, but it's not, that just reminds me back in the day when, like, I would ride the bus all the way, way to, like, to school and stuff. And whenever you sit in the back, you, I would always wait till there'd be a bump. Then I'd just, like, <laughs> plop myself up in the air. And then you get, I don't know why, but if you time it right, you get, like, can almost hit the ceiling. It was so much fun. I would only got yelled at, like, every time, but... <laughs> yeah, James, uh, James over on Facebook says, and that's why I don't fly. Yeah. I don't know, man. There's just something kind of scary about, uh, you know, flying at high speed through a metal tube, basically pissing in the face of God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's true. <laughs> like right now, like I'm having, I'm having issues right now. That that's exactly what's. I mean, and that and that could happen in real life. Like, I'm not climbing in speed. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not throttle throttling. So in this case, so basically for those of you that don't know, planes pretty much fly themselves, unless it's me flying it. But of course, <laughs> off stream, this plane flies itself perfectly. And then tonight, it's not wanting to climb or anything. But that that's that's real life. Sometimes, pi that's why a pilot is there. Because if the shit doesn't work right, you've got to manually take over. And but if, and if you if you don't have a pilot available, you just call Yoda Lex. Yeah, or if you're if you're, yeah if you're in my case, and you're just you're just straight up fucked because uh, yeah, I don't know what the fuck we're doing hey, now. Hey, what's up, William Garcia? Oh wait, how you doing, man? How you doing? Oh yeah, so uh, do you have do you have one, Nick? Well, I found one while I was just sitting here fucking climbing to fucking 38,000 feet because I know what the fuck I'm doing. And, uh, it just, it caught my eye because it says bloody and alone in the jungle. And <laughs> that sounds like fucking Thursday night for me, man. That just, that's like a typical Thursday. Typical Thursday. I don't, I don't know what the story that hit the headlines is funny. So if it sucks, I'm going to go ahead and apologize and fucking not care past that. But, uh... <laughs> What? What? Oh, see, this is fucking gonna confuse me. There's two allegiance on here. Yeah, <laughs> see, I told you, I knew this was gonna be a bad idea to try to do a podcast while flying a plane. There's just too much shit you gotta watch after. <laughs> no, there's like another another allegiant flight. My call sign's allegiant also. Hmm. Like there's a real life allegiant flight. Anyways. Ooh. Uh, it says, when I was 19, I hit the road in search of adventure and found myself hiking through the Costa Rican jungle on a 21 day trek. The plan was to start at the Pacific Ocean and end at the Atlantic Ocean. God damn, that's a long... That is... That's a hike. In Costa Rica, too. That's not pleasant weather. Yeah. Uh, fuck. Okay. Three days in and I awoke in the night to find something had found its way past my mosquito net, net and punctured my leg full of holes. I'm guessing it was probably a killer. Being 19 and indestructible, I chose to ignore it. The bites were shallow and didn't even really hurt. 24 hours later, I was stumbling hopelessly through the jungle, rain lashing through the trees, hallucinations rushing at me from all sides. <laughs> My leg was angry and red, swollen beyond recognition, and it hurt to put pressure on it. I crawled up an endless muddy slope, half a foot of water soaking my clothes and pack, or clothes and pack, as the path turned into a river. <laughs> My map was sodden and useless, but somehow I made it to a ranger station where I stumbled through the front door like some kind of jungle demon and instantly passed out. I awoke to find myself being evacuated to a hospital where I was informed that my leg would be, would be amputated. Fear wow. ran through me at the thought of losing my leg and losing my chance to join the Royal Marines. Two weeks passed in a hazy blur until I finally graduated from my bed into a wheelchair and back to, back to England. I spent a year recovering from my physical injuries, had a good old-fashioned mental breakdown upon learning that the Marines were no longer an option, and booked a one-way flight to India where I began my wandering hobo travels. 
When you go to <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. So <laughs> So so he went on he went on vacation and ended up being a hobo there? Yeah. Wow. I have never been as scared as I was within that jungle or that hospital, and yet this turned out to be one of the most important moments in my life. It changed my direction, put me in an ultimately more rewarding path, and forced me to reevaluate who I was and just what the heck I wanted to do. Sometimes the greatest <laughs> challenges offer the greatest opportunities. Yeah, fucking, you know, who doesn't want to be a hobo? Yeah, I mean, I, okay, if I was ever going to be a hobo, I really think that I could probably do it, uh, like, on the beach. I could be a beach bum. See, that's what I've always told everybody, dude. If, if I know that I'm going to lose my ass and there's no, there's no fucking way I'm going to recover, everything's just going to go to shit and there's nothing I can do about it, I'm going to at least fucking save up enough money to buy a plane ticket to Hawaii and be a bum in Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, like, like if you... are a happy bum. I mean... Yeah, I mean, I mean if you... It's never fucking, never cold. If you're gonna be you know? okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna be on the street and you're gonna jack off a few guys, I mean, you might as well do it with the ocean by your side. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like, like, why would you do it like on the strip in Las Vegas? Like, that wouldn't make any sense. I or do it in your car on the strip <laughs> in Las Vegas and pretend you're a girl. <laughs> so I saw another story, and the title literally was "I climbed Mount Kilimanjaro and then fell off." Oh my god. Hey, at least they climbed it. <laughs> well, okay, first of all, where the hell is Kilimanjaro? I can't remember where that is. That's Do you all know? Tibet, I think. Tibet? Okay. Tibet. So it literally there. said that this guy so this is a very it's Reddit, so obviously they're not um they're not gonna be that descriptive. But it basically said that, oh yeah, I had a plan I reached the top, the plan was to descend back down and spend the night. Until then, I had a good appetite, but drinking lots of water. I lost my appetite, blah, blah, blah. So it said, I have no memory of this, but my friends have filled in the gaps. I was descending, cracked my head, ended up with a lot of cut scratches down one face, but luckily didn't break anything. Three teams of six guides had to stretcher me down. So apparently this guy was, he didn't eat or drink enough. So he fucking fell down the side of Mount Kilimanjaro. They don't know how many feet he fell down, but somehow he got out with just stitches. Jeez, just stitches. That, hey, I mean, I mean, he fucking fell off the. I mean, the hot, the headlight ba or the the um the headlight. The title <laughs> literally <laughs> says, <laughs> "Someone did Mount Kilimanjaro and then fell off." This guy probably just fell down a fucking twenty foot drop, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, "Oh, I, I fell, I fell down Mount Kilimanjaro." But oh, I've actually got my own personal uh travel horror story, but I'll wait till my next turn on that one. I wanted to save that one for last. Oh yeah. Oh, by the way, I had to uh, I had to redo the uh, redo the flight, Nick. So what, what, you won't you won't see me. <laughs> what happened to you? Um, what happened to me is that none of my fucking instruments were working. So you know what? In that case, I'm gonna let the plane plummet and uh, go join another uh, airliner real quick. Yeah, Did this you seems die? like it's something important. No, dude, it just nothing was nothing was working. Like nothing was working. So you crashed? I didn't crash. I just quit. Fuck that, wow. dude. If nothing's gonna work, those people are fucked. <laughs> Mount uh, Kilimanjaro is located in Tanzania. 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 That's oh. like a long ways off from Tibet. <laughs> yeah, um uh Nick would definitely get a get a blowjob from a from a lady dude there. Oh yeah, Tanzanian lady boy? Oh, that's <laughs> a fucking dream. Uh, well if you ever want to be a beach bum, don't go to Thailand. Oh dude. <laughs> They have the best lady boys. Oh, uh, this one person. <laughs> Where in Thailand? Thailand? Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, th this person was on an island in Thailand with with uh, not many foreigners compared to the big ones, just chilling at a beach bar. Uh, uh, when the server sees the Canadian flag on my uh, bag and starts a convo about weed being legalized, chat for a bit. It seems cool. Five minutes later, he comes back and puts a bag of weed in my hand and says, "Have fun. The police, uh, the police don't care here." Um, I don't smoke, so I hand it back to him after a bit. Not thinking further. Then some <laughs> foreigners, <laughs> then some foreigners who live in Thailand, come up to me and told me that the, this stuff happens a lot in the region. The police give bounties for bar staff for catching drug users, and they end up cleaning drugs and cells and calling the police. Uh, could have gone to a Thai prison where I probably would have ended my stay. Uh, uh, now I have this fear from people playing stuff on me, especially if I've traveled to a place like Singapore where smuggling is execution. 
Yeah, that's what they'll fucking like. It, well, I, I know the Philippines for sure. They'll kill you if they suspect you're on drugs. Fuck. Like, there's no, like, <laughs> hey, blow into this tube or fucking take this blood test. If they suspect that you might be on drugs. If you walk out to your car slightly fucking groggy in the morning on your way to work, dude, they'll fucking pull up with a motorcycle death squad and Over fucking speed. shoot you on sight. Over speed. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Over speed. I don't like the... I, don't, I, never, I mean, Over that's speed. like on the exact Over opposite speed. of the world where I live, so... Me. Yes. I guess. So I have no plans to go to the Philippines, so I'm safe there. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm wait, okay. The oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. We gotta have Colton. You gotta tell your threesome story. Um, what? You gotta tell your threesome story about Iceland. Oh, yeah, that. Um, so, okay, went to Iceland for like a school trip or whatever. Um, got incredibly intoxicated. Now, uh, some of the details are kind of draggy, but I was talking to two. Um, well, I guess it technically could be a four-way. I don't know. Uh, two girls and some... <laughs> <laughs> two girls and two dudes! <laughs> well, well, two dudes... Two... Oh, wait. What? Two oh, girls my God. He doesn't even remember. <laughs> Hold on. If you say one cup after this, I'm fucking... I'm... 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 <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm, go I'm going up to them, like, talking... Like, I'm incredibly intoxicated talking to them. They start talking to me about, like marriage in Iceland that you can marry two people at the same time um so don't know what that was and they like so does that me mean like I, Iceland's a Mormon country or what I really don't know <laughs> I see I don't know what what could have happened I wanted to hang out with them more um but people from my group kind of drew me away since I was very physically wow. inebriated. Yeah, James says you're a lucky bastard. <laughs> yeah, no, let's see, he was telling lucky. me this story. So he was telling me this story before the stream, and he's just like, oh, yeah, he just casually mentioned it. He's like, yeah, like that time, I think I almost got into a threesome in Iceland. I was like, what? Yeah, that's like some fucking, that's like a fucking story Nikki Six would tell us or some shit. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, fucking, I think I may have fucking, like, I almost got into a threesome in fucking I Iceland. I, don't, I was so fucking high on heroin that I couldn't fucking... <laughs> No. <laughs> well, then there was another time that same trip. I was completely drunk again, and um, I stayed up to like four. It was at the hostel we were staying at. Stayed up to like four a.m. talking to these people, and uh, I tried to make something happen. Um, and one of the people actually tried hooking me up with the the other girl there, um, but she did, she didn't really want to. So <laughs> unfortunate there. Did you whip out her <laughs> hog and show her what she was missing? <laughs> did you whip I, out I, the I, hog? <laughs> <laughs> See, could you there, imagine? Could way. you imagine Cole just being like, "Here's the hog, bitch." Be like, "Yeah, bitch, fucking, this could have been you. You could have had some comfortable sex tonight." Oh my god. <laughs> oh man. That that. Oh man. Ice is a fun place. Uh, uh, aside from the fact that a, a friend of mine on the group was offered a cocaine, he turned it down. Obviously, but they they told me, "Hey, uh, if you want cocaine, I know where to get some." Oh, it was a fun trip. Wow. I mean, yeah, that sounds like an interesting trip, Colt. I mean, any any time someone could say that they got a uh, offer to do a threesome and then get offered some See, cocaine. I don't think they ever offered. That's the thing. I just don't remember. I just knew I really wanted to hang out with them, and they seemed. <laughs> I know the one girl was very open to um, uh, have a good time. Was she uh, was she fucking down for some wobbly H? Probably. Nice. <laughs> what the fuck is wobbly age? <laughs> That's where you're fucking like one dude's fucking her in the mouth and one dude's fucking her from behind and they're like fucking holding <laughs> hands above her and shit and they look like a wobbly I thought age. that was called the Eiffel Tower. That's well it's that too. But. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Or no yeah. Yeah, the, no the wobbly age is where you're not holding hands. My bad. Mm. Cause that'd be a wobbly A <laughs> if you were fucking holding hands. <laughs> yeah, yeah it definitely would be age. Yeah. Wobbly oh, age. Boy. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to try and go back to Iceland and uh, finish that quest. <laughs> what you need to do is go to the Netherlands, walk up to a fucking Dutchman, and say you want to do a Dutch double. I'm feeling I don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no, I don't think I do. Totally wanna do. Dude, you totally want to do a Dutch double. All right, now I'm going to look this up. Uh, no, I'm, I'll tell you what it is. A Dutch double is whenever you grab onto your dick, he grabs onto your dick, or uh, he yeah. grabs onto his dick, right? <laughs> But you fucking move each other's arms with your other hand. Oh so my you're god! Off with your own <laughs> yeah. Hand, so it's like, so it's not gay. Uh... 
<laughs> That's a travel horror story. Going to fucking Deutschland to get a what's it called? A double Dutch? Oh. I thought that's what you said. I didn't hear that you say. I didn't hear you say anything about the Netherlands. Yeah, the Netherlands. You no, know, he said the Netherlands. Yeah, you hey, go to the I Netherlands. The Netherlands find have a dead the most attractive women. Oh yeah. I need to go there too. Weed. What did you say? What? They, they all smoke weed. Oh, I thought you said. I don't know what. I don't know what I thought you said. They all smoke weed, and half of them are fucking whores, like the yep, literal de- <clears throat> prostitute whores. Well, now I know oh. I need to go to the Constitution. Legal. <laughs> Do all the guys in my chat just went bro with a bunch of beer <laughs> <laughs> That's about as bad as when I was a corrections officer. Well, okay, I don't want to say I was an officer. When I was uh, in the academy to be a corrections officer, and they were talking about uh, catching guys going skiing, that's almost as bad as that. And you all know, I mean, you all know what that is, right? I don't know what that is, but I know the fucking the guys that would, they called it fucking gun and the female COs down. Wait, what? They, what? What? They would gun the COs down, like these female COs. Yeah. What they would do, like they'd sit there and they would just like fucking blank stare at them while they were walking by doing count, standing in the shower, jerking their meat. <sighs> they called it gunning them down. Well, going skiing is basically where two male. Uh, inmates will sit next to each other, and like, okay, so when uh, when you go spe- when you go um, think about it, when you go skiing, Colton, what do you w- what's in your hands when you go skiing? Yeah, so obviously, obviously those those poles or whatever. Yeah, you got two poles in your hand. So when th- so when they go skiing in the jail, there's a guy to the left, there's a guy to the right, and the guy in the middle is the one who's doing all the skiing. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I got a visual now. Not a good visual, but I got a visual. <laughs> now, so I, it's kind of like, like that. You do that with women, too. Like, if you had a, two girls willing to do it, don't you? Yeah. Wait, uh, okay. Is, like, Nick women, or what are you talking about? No, no, normal women. Hey, now. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I said Nick women. He said, no, 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 normal women. <laughs> normal women. Just because she was made in a fucking laboratory. <laughs> Don't be cheap, real. Don't be, she's not real. Oh my god. <laughs> I was thinking about this tonight. Um, well, mainly because I was talking to. Who, who would have who... thought that fucking weird science would almost become a documentary? Weird science. Gotta love it. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna get I'm gonna, okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get I'm gonna tell my my personal travel horror, and it's really not that bad. It was just it was kind of a scary moment, just for like maybe three minutes. So I'm flying back from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, to Lexington, Kentucky. Okay, so I'm flying back, but I have a layover in Charlotte, North Carolina. Which, by the way, and obviously he's not the pilot because he made it. <laughs> yeah, I made it, so it I'm not the pilot. pilot. Didn't fucking quit in midair like a pussy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this that day I quit for good reason. This next flight's going smooth as butter. Anyway, um, so are you, are you flying right now? Yeah, I'm fr- going from LAX to Phoenix. Oh, you dick. We'll probably meet each other. <gasps> yeah, that's what I thought, baby. Don't you worry, daddy. And um, okay, so I had a layover in Charlotte. So we landed Charlotte, but it's storming like a motherfucker. So I was I was kind of puckering up when we were landing because like I'm seeing lightning all around me, and I'm I don't mind flying, but I'm not a huge fan of it. But when I see storms, I freak the fuck out. So we land, and they're like, "Hey, your flight's been delayed like two hours, three hours, whatever." So my flight at this point has been delayed literally five, six hours, and it's getting close to eleven o'clock at night. Okay, so I finally, they finally say, this is the last plane that's leaving. We're going to board you for it. So I get on the plane. We're sitting at the tarmac. We haven't left the, the sky bridge yet. We're sitting there. And all of, and I'm just, we're sitting there for like 25 minutes. And I'm like, why the fuck are we not, like, like taxiing yet? Like, the, the doors have been shut for 20 minutes. Why are we sitting here? Before oh, I, I fucking know it, dude. Yeah, I guess they forgot uh, They forgot to hit the fucking button that requested the pushback. But uh, all of a sudden, I'm sitting there, and fucking uh, probably 25 Charlotte police cars surround the plane. Lights on, everything. They get out, and I swear to God, they get out, and I see them stack up on the airplane door. And I'm sitting here like, what in the fucking hell is happening right now? So I'm sitting, I'm just sitting there, and I'm like, there, uh, something's going on. 
they opened the door. They didn't bust in like SWAT style, but they opened the door. They pointed to a woman, and I'm not going to say anything about the woman, but they pointed towards, they pointed to the woman. Was it Jenny Faye Baker? No, it was oh. not. <laughs> but, but being in Charlotte, North Carolina, good, good observation. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, they, what the fuck is that? They, um, was they come Lori in. Laughlin? No, it was not Lori Laughlin. <laughs> okay. So they come in. The woman starts screaming in a foreign language that I don't understand. I don't know what she's saying. They oh, grab. The they. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> so they end up tasing her because she is like fighting and she's three seats behind me. So I got nice. two cops. Literally, their elbows are in my face. I'm you know sitting what here. You should have done. What? You know should have done. You should have said, "Stand fucking." <laughs> I should have said Stand what? Down. I went through the fucking corrections facility fucking academy. <laughs> I've got this. I've got this, guys. I have fucking I've got, got this. this. You I'm all just go off academy. the plane. I will handle this. I was a security guard for fucking FedEx. <laughs> <laughs> it was for the airport, you dick. Anyway, so they tase her. They finally, they finally get her under control. And they take her, they take her off the plane. Well, they get us all off the plane. There's Yoda Blart over here. <laughs> Yoda Blart. <laughs> they get us off the plane, and they fucking have, uh, they have dogs searching our bags. We had to get searched. Thankfully, they didn't go anally, but we had to get searched. And I'm just sitting here. At this point, it's like 12:30, and I'm like, what? I had to fucking. I, I had to go and get another fucking hotel for the night. That's two days I was stuck in goddamn Charlotte, North Carolina. <laughs> and then I finally got anymore. home the night, and my roommate came to pick me up, and he came to the airport. And the airport, that actually, I was landing in Louisville, and the airport is like a solid, like fucking hour and a half away from where we are. And he was, he, I was, I called him and I was like, bro, I, I'm not ready. He's like, what the fuck keeps happening? <laughs> I was like, dude, I can't help it, man. It got shit, shit went down. <laughs> shit went the fuck down. They, they didn't let me do my job or else it would have been. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like before I and, fucking and knew it. You, could, you couldn't fucking, you couldn't get your, they wouldn't let you fucking put your Segway on the plane as carry on. Oh my god, man, I never had a fucking Segway. I don't know what kind of money you think the security forces have in Kentucky, but we're not running around in fucking Segways. <laughs> Just chasing after someone. Stop in the name of water. <laughs> I did, uh, I did when you I was... You let her off with a warning and you know it. Oh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that, that's why they wouldn't let me take over. They're like, no, you'll just give her a fucking warning. We've seen the shit you do. We've seen your channel, you son of a bitch. <laughs> but no, that that was probably that was probably the worst trip back home I've ever had. First, because I was just nervous about seeing a bunch of cops stacking up on my planks. I'm like, someone's getting ready to get fucking lit up, and I guarantee you, it's the guy sitting next to me. It's That's my these fucking luck. That, like fucking blocked you on Twitter, trying to get you swatted on a plane. Yeah, they're, they're like, oh, he's on an air flight. He said that he was going to blow something up. <laughs> my God. That's gonna be new level of swatting nowadays. Yeah, here fucking Colton gets three some fucking invites, and I'm getting I'm I'm getting fucking searched by a drug dog. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I can you hiding cocaine in your balls? Hey, I, you know what's funny though? I did get a I did get a grapefruit thrown at me once. What? what? Yeah. Fucking story, come on. Yeah, come nah, on. It, there's really you no story. I was trying to throw like these high school kids out of the mall because I was Paul Blart. I was trying to throw them out of the mall because they were being <laughs> idiots, and one of them threw a fucking grapefruit at me. That's it. That's it. That's the story. That's the story. Did they? Did they? How many times? Okay, okay, yeah, it's not interesting. How many fucking times have you had a grapefruit thrown at you? I mean, zero. Never? Yeah, exactly. So, th so my grapefruit story is obviously cooler than yours. Yeah, well, you know what? My fucking penis in the mouth of what I thought was a woman's story is cooler than yours. <laughs> yeah, I can't oh, say I've go. ever had. I can't say I've ever had that kind of experience before. Yep, 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 yep. I wonder what would happen. All three of us travel somewhere. I wonder if I would get like some. Like some crazy shit happened. I, I really don't know. Oh I think yeah. We all need to get on a flight. Yeah, we do. Flight and podcast. 
Well, what, what, what we need to do oh, is yeah. Colton, you need to fly to Lexington. We'll board a plane in Lexington. We'll go to Amarillo, and then we'll take. Am we'll, then we'll go from Amarillo somewhere else, and we'll pick up Nick. We'll just see what the fuck happens. I mean, we'll God, go God help the people on that plane, but we'll, we'll just see. Oh yeah, God no! I'm not traveling out of the U.S. COVID. You can't fucking travel outside the U.S. <laughs> oh, okay, let's go to Hawaii. Let's go to Cancun, and then see if we can get fucking kidnapped by the cartels. What? <laughs> you want to try to get? No, th yeah, that, that's dude, too easy. Dude, that fucking video would go far. I mean, it would be the last <laughs> video you ever made, but that motherfucker would get hits. Oh my God. <laughs> Do it for the views. Go. Uh, it, yeah, that's what we say while we're getting fucking beheaded. I did it for the views, bro. <laughs> this is the new TikTok world. <laughs> God. The new TikTok challenge or whatever. It could be like the, the Blair Witch Project, challenge. but with fucking, yeah. you know, our heads falling off. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great idea. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's so go. Scared, huh? <laughs> yeah, let's. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I at least get some pleasure from some women before I end my days. You know what's funny? People would still comment. They'd still comment. When you go upload again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like fucking, this dude fucking took off again on us, man. Yeah, motherfucker, motherfucker took another <laughs> took another fucking break. I'm done. I'm unsubbing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna follow this toxic motherfucker on Twitter, too. <laughs> Dude, someone in my chat said that that, that that happens at their school. Not not beheading, but getting grapefruit stone in it, but they said it's with potatoes. Apparently, it's a common thing for someone to get... to go to school in fucking Idaho? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but Foxy Mailman, he goes, Dan, that happens every day at my high school, but with potatoes. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine just someone starts throwing potatoes in a classroom, and like... I mean, when I was in high school... Yeah, two city high, so the <laughs> Like, when I was in high school, we did dumb <laughs> shit. Like, we would throw crap all the time, but not like... It wasn't like... It's always like, well, we gotta go get a spud today, guys, and nail fucking Jimmy in the back of the head with it. I used to always take a crap in the urinal. Oh, yeah, upper decking? Yeah, that was common. No, no, take no, no. a crap in a urinal. Oh, in the urinal. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I take big old steamy shits in the fucking urinal. Dude, Every we would day. just break stuff. My, my yeah. class did. We broke chairs, we broke, uh... I broke uh, the janitor. He quit. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. <laughs> I broke the janitor. I broke the janitor. Oh, God, it's dark in this job. motherfucker. What's happening? It's just dark in this game. Like, I can't see shit yeah, out of my fucking, fucking It's almost like it's nighttime or something. It is. It's nighttime. Who the fucking thought it'd be nighttime? I'm on the West Coast, though. <laughs> yeah, it's dark as shit, man. I think it's like 8, 8 o'clock now. You know, you know we're going to end up touching tips on this fucking runway. Dude, right? if we don't touch tips, then <laughs> we're going to slap like, Colton right in the face. We're going right about the same fucking time from opposite ends of the same exact I don't know. Runway. I started kind of late. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like a 45-minute flight. That was only 15 okay. minutes into mine, so. Mm. Colton, you don't have any more, like, stories about when you've traveled? Not really. I mean, that, yeah. The Iceland whole trip was the best, <laughs> and mainly because of those two things that happened. Right. But, um, yeah, other than that, no, because, uh, yeah. I'm trying to think, because I really don't travel all that much. I mean... I used to travel all the fucking time, but yeah. I haven't lately. Wonder why. <laughs> yeah, after, after that Charlotte experience, I can definitely understand why. Well, see, I, mean, I fly all the time, and that's the worst time I've ever had flying. Like, and of course, I, fly, I flew United, which I should have fucking knew better. But <laughs> I'm an airline snob now. If it's not Southwest or Delta, I'm not fucking doing it. I used to fly Frontier, and it was okay at first, but it got shitty too. So I'm just like... Legion. No, God! Dude, they have the fucking Golden Knights logo on their planes. Yeah, that's cool and all, allegiance. but like my friend said, those planes are held together by bamboo and monkey spit. No, they're not. It's the same fucking planes. The Dude, fucking have you not American seen? Have you not seen all the fucking <laughs> shit that Allegiance gotten into for not maintaining their aircraft? <laughs> They've got the oldest fleet in the entire, uh, in the entire fucking industry. I'm now, now I will say, to be fair, right now. okay, to be fair for Allegiant, though, to be fair, I think they have one of the best safety records, though, too. But they also See? have the most fines for not keeping up with their aircrafts. Well, then fucking they're doing something right. <laughs> yeah. For now. The FAA, the they're doing something FAA right FAA for now. Get off their ass. But the time I get on it, the pilot's going to quit mid-flight, and we're just going to fucking plummet. <laughs> just, just don't fly with Malaysian Airlines. They say their their airplanes seem. Oh uh, yeah, Malaysian air airplanes tend tend to just fucking disappear. 
Yeah. Dude, they never did find that. No, you know what happened. You know what happened. Here we go. Here we go with conspiracy theories again. Thought, Here we no, go. I thought they fucking found it, and it was like fucking. They I thought they found the piece, but no, they found pieces of it. So they think there's two theories. One theory is it crashed in the ocean, and they found like a piece of it in the ocean. Another theory is that the motherfucker was hijacked, and it's being parked somewhere to be used later. Because it's weird how they just found one little piece. Now, granted, if it crashes in the ocean. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to find it. I it's gonna be hard to find. I think they stole the plane. They're hiding it, right? Yeah. And they're gonna do 9/11 again. God, I don't. I mean, that plane. was a long time ago. I figured that would have happened yeah, by now. Yeah, because but... they'd be like, "Oh, motherfuckers ain't gonna remember this plane." Yeah, they're like, mm -hmm. "Yeah, fuck it. We're gonna wait. We're gonna wait a few years, and then yeah. we'll, they'll forget about it." It's what they did yeah. between '93 and 2001. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That is true. I mean, I think our air. What is that? They assholes. Trying to like figure out like air population would be pretty good for that though. There are a lot more eyes in the sky. So thing. someone okay, so someone told me they said they found the black box in the ocean. See, I didn't, I didn't think they ever found the black box. That's why they yeah. can't say, well, the, this is the what first happened. Thing you fucking get rid of is the black box. Well, yeah. If you're so smart, if you're gonna steal this, an airplane, you, all you do is roll down the window and you throw it out. <laughs> yeah, just a, just eat it. <laughs> oh, there goes that. Yep. Yep. And then you roll the window back up because it's pretty fucking windy whenever you're going 270 knots. Yeah. Yeah. They just return it with rockets <laughs> on it. I mean, yeah, it's going to be returned at some point. Yeah. They're wait. You know what? That's going to be the fucking end all for 2020. Is what that's yeah. going to be. Probably. A new I mean, a new 911. I I mean I I don't know I don't want to I don't want to. I mean, dude, there, there's literally nothing that could happen this year that would surprise. Like aliens could come down. They already found aliens. <laughs> and they've, they've already aliens. talked and about aliens. aliens. They're already existing. Yeah. No, dude, like, the got a aliens could come down in fucking mass, invade us, and all have fucking three dicks and fucking triple dicks, every <laughs> single one, in all of our Orphi. <laughs> and, like, I'd be like, 2020! 2020, that's all it is, guys. And, and all anybody would fucking say to him is, you better fucking wear a mask. <laughs> Yeah, you, were you wearing your mask while you got dicked down by all the aliens? No, Have you had a COVID down. vaccination? You gotta wear your mask, fucking. <laughs> You're just yelling at the aliens. Hey, do you have a mask on, Karen, over here? Just... They'd be like, fucking, uh, if, we fucking, if we fucking put a load in your butt, it'll cure COVID. And people will buy wow. it. Wow. <laughs> all this, dude, uh, that's all this is, is a fucking, it's all a setup for a big alien invasion where their semen is going to be our cure. Well, well see, I wonder, and someone brought this up in my chat, I wonder when the Mayan calendar is going to actually be right. Because 2012 was supposed to be the 2020, I think. Yeah. Yeah, well, that, that, that actually fucking makes sense. Yeah, so, I don't know, man. I'm kind of afraid for the end of the year, the end of this year, I don't know. I, I, I think what we should do, j just, to, just to err on the c side of caution, is... Towards the end of December, you probably need to make peace with whatever god it is you pray to, <laughs> and and just and just 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 in case. <laughs> yeah, I, you think I think we're all dead by fucking December thirty-first. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Oh. Uh, oh like, boy. Well, yeah. Colton, maybe you'll maybe you'll see the Browns win a few games before no, before that happens. The, the, no, 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 no. no. If the Browns wins. start winning, then we know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, the sad thing is, I'll still be happy. Like, hey, the Browns finally won a Super Bowl. Right, Super right. Bowl. The world's burning down, but we finally won. Taking the Browns to the Super Bowl doesn't mean taking a shit anymore, guys. <laughs> you guys said we wouldn't do it, but we did. Oh, my <laughs> God. We're all dead, but we won. <laughs> Or, or like fucking on the last second of the fucking game, dude. Right before they're about to officially win, dude. Boom, nuclear bomb. Yep. I would, I would. Something will happen. Just all out fucking nuclear war. We obliterate the I mean, earth. It fucking shatters into a million pieces. I mean, I'm a, I, I, I don't. Even God doesn't want the Browns to win, Colton. Oh, no. Damn. <laughs> Nobody wants the Browns to win. Yeah, but hey, that, but, in 50 years. but getting back into it, like I, I, I'm not a fear monger, <laughs> but I just I don't know, man. I, I feel like. Like, someone made a good point in my chat, SD Ghost, that said maybe they got the numbers wrong and it's supposed to be 2021 instead of 2012. I actually I would know. not be surprised. Yeah. If 2021 is worse than 2020, I'm going to fucking shoot myself <laughs> while I'm overdosing on pills, <laughs> fucking sleeping in a guillotine that's on a timer. <laughs> because I want to make sure. <laughs> I want to make sure that shit is, is, is accurate and that it happens. <laughs> no. 
No, yeah, I mean, like, because if, if people think COVID's the worst thing that's going to happen anytime soon, then, then yeah, then they, yeah, they I mean, uh, they're more oblivious than, than, uh, like, like right now, people... This is the warm-up, dude. Yeah, people are still worried about who's wearing a mask or not. Like, that's going to be the least of our worries probably here in a few chronic months. chronic wasting disease jumps from deer to people. God. Oh, yeah. Then oh, we're Lord. fucked. If you don't know what chronic wasting disease is... Can you give a deer herpes? Um, now I'm in the I mean, <laughs> give a deer. Oh, are you going to look it up? Colt, look so. it up. Let us know. I don't think so because it's like an interspecies type thing. Yeah. Like, well, I herpes. mean, sometimes that can happen. Like, you can catch shit from other animals. Like, you know, well, I yeah, mean, but it, has the jump, it has the jump a certain threshold to jump from animals to humans. Huh. Just like, I'm pretty sure you probably couldn't give a fucking bear AIDS. Bear AIDS. If to, yeah, if you were to fuck a bear, bear back. If I, <laughs> so if you fucked a bear, bear back, and you had... So what if you just had... What if you just had HIV? Could you do that? Well, that, I mean, HIV turns into AIDS. AIDS is the disease caused by the Well, HIV I know that, virus. but I'm saying, could you... But you can't give it AIDS, but could you give it the heavy? I don't think you could give it the high five, no. I don't fucking Google. Can you give a bear HIV? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought I read somewhere here that you can give them gonorrhea, but... What?! A bear?! Cat AIDS?! No, cat, no, no. Is cat AIDS a real thing?! I know there's feline leukemia, I didn't know that there's feline, feline AIDS. leukemia. There is. Yeah, feline leukemia is a real thing. Yeah, yeah. And you can catch it. No, no, it's a cancer, it's a blood cancer. Well, yeah, I mean, I know what leukemia is, but I was- but someone said cat AIDS. Yeah, the feline AIDS. There ain't no mm. feline AIDS. Yeah, there's the truth about feline AIDS. Uh, you no. could give your computer AIDS. Have you all ever had a, a software program called LimeWire? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gave my computer herpagonosyphilis. Oh my god, I blew, I'm pretty sure my first computer got blown the fuck up. Like, yeah. it, like the, the hard drive just finally gave out that I, I put so much... I, I put so many viruses into it, and I had no idea. You know, even before LimeWire, there was this fucking virus called Sub-7 that I used to play with. And I used to fuck with my friends. <laughs> what? Like I'd send them an email attachment of a fucking like cute cat picture or something like that, and they click on it, and it would give them the virus. And I could like remotely control shit, like you know, fucking open their CD tray, fucking make it start typing on their computer. Dude, you know, that's fucking like that. awesome. <laughs> and then the, my my piece de la resistance was I would completely fill their fucking hard drive with zeros and ones and fucking crash their computer. Dude, that's that's kind of a <laughs> dick move though. <laughs> Like that's definitely some shit I would probably do uh, to one, to my friends, but at the same time, it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, the worst thing my friends did was uh, this was like in early high school. Send you to lemonparty.com. Ah. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's almost like that's like. Have you ever been to a website called? Or the, it used to be My Lazy Sunday. No, I never, never went there. So people would always tell me, and I should have known better than to trust. My cousin's the one that told me this, and I really should not have trusted my cousin. But he said, dude, you've got to check out this website. It's hilarious. It's called MyLazySunday.com. I went to it, and it's fucking 32 old men in a bukkake <laughs> orgy. What? That's like the fucking extreme version of lemonparty.org. Oh, dude, it was bad. It was fucking bad. Like, I went to it, and I, I literally was like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, is it, it's not an intro. You go straight into just old ball sacks. Like, <laughs> it old doesn't give you a chance. Old man jizz on some dude's face. Yeah, it does not give you the chance to look it's at like it. pancake batter. Yeah, and be like, it, it doesn't give you the chance <laughs> to be like, oh, shit, man. Like, I know what this is going to be. It's just automatic. You're like, well, I'm, I'm, I'm already this deep. You I'm, know, a, a I'm elbow mine. deep. A buddy of mine and I were talking about meat spin last night. Y'all remember that? Meat oh, yeah. spin? Meat no. Spin. Meat spin. Yeah. So basically, like it's a gif, like where this it's fucking this dude is getting bone in the ass, but his dick's fucking spinning around in a circle. <laughs> and it sits there and fucking like whenever you go to the site, the site's down now, but whenever you well, go to the obviously. site, obviously, and it says down at the bottom, you've sat through, and then it, like counts the number of spins. And while, and while it's spinning, Dude, it's like, you spin me right round, baby, right round, <laughs> the whole fucking time. I wanted to see if, if it would like actually like if it ever stopped. I actually left it on my computer while I fucking slept one night, and like woke up the next day and I was up to like fucking sixty-three thousand spins. They were probably like, "This guy's a fucking freak." <laughs> <He's> fucking, 
<laughs> this guy's beating his dick like it on him funny, man. He must be on a fucking four-hour fruitless coke yank. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what about um? Okay, did you all ever see uh? uh it was the Pain Olympics. Yeah, the BME Pain Olympics. Fuck yeah, yeah dude, dude. That the, the, the dude shit. Nails through his ding dong. And, oh my uh, god, dude. Balls and shit. Yeah. That shit, like it, it, it traumatized me for a while. And, and, and the guy, oh, that, yeah. and the guy that plays his fucking penis like a fucking hot dog, like down the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. He, yeah, dude. He <laughs> fucked yeah. himself up. Now you know there's a fucked up story behind the BME Pan Olympics. I've never heard that. What's that? Okay, so the actual story behind the BME Pan Olympics. So there's a guy that was stupid fucking rich, this American guy, and he would go over to third world country, countries and offer them a hundred thousand dollars to mutilate themselves and film it. <sighs> oh. And that's how he filmed it. I mean, I guess after you get it, you could do, get some plastic surgery to no, get but the, No, but that is permanent damage. Country. That's a, now, yeah. Where, where are you going to fucking... Hey, you got, got $100,000. Are you, you, you going to go down to... Are you going to go down to fucking Pepito that's selling Ganipkinops down on the corner and say, Hey, put my cock back together? <laughs> <laughs> it's like Lego. Just put it back together. Hey, man, you're a hot dog vendor, but maybe you can work something out. You ever had one blow up on you? Well, I kind of have the same situation. How did you fix that? <laughs> Yeah, at least get a bun and some mustard for this fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> Just tie it together. Yeah, dude, 100K, that's going to eat up most of your surgery. Oh, yeah. But see, that, that's, that's the point. thing, though. For 100K in a lot of those third world countries, you can live for the rest of your life like a fucking king. Like you're Bill Gates on 100 grand. Yeah, dude, I... Yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I mean, this, I, you're still going to have oh, shitty man. things. You're just going to have the best shitty things. <laughs> the best shitty things. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be, it's, you're, you're gonna be like fucking being the prettiest waitress at Denny's. <laughs> what a, I'd, what a, I'd, what, I'd still, I'd still what an acolyte. Waitress at Denny's. <laughs> okay, since we're talking about $100,000, would you seriously, Nick, would you sleep with your best friend, a male best friend for 100 k Fuck yeah. I need money, dude. I'm broke. <laughs> 100k, I'd fucking, I'd even act like I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Colt? Would you do the it? The fucking question is, are you fucking sweating whether or not you're my best friend and do you know somebody with 100 grand? Because <laughs> if so, dude, your butthole's going to hurt tomorrow, son. <laughs> <laughs> Cole just sitting there like I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and just end oh, my end my stream now. <laughs> I probably wouldn't. I mean, I don't know. It's just not something I'd I'd be down for, even for a hundred. I mean, I'm not we down for it at all. But yeah. it's all goodbye, all I you people. You're about to get banned. I still think. <laughs> I still think that everyone's got a price. Everybody's got a price. They'll do it. Mine's uh, seven figures. <laughs> Then I don't. I, I I'm good for the rest of my life. I mean, I, I'd fuck I'd fuck Chris in the butt for thirty three fifty and a box of fucking tiddlywinks. <laughs> and the tiddlywinks would just be a sexual aid. Oh god. They'd be like fucking cheap anal beads without the string. You'd have a French tickler on. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, okay, this is completely off topic, but I was thinking about this what today. Topic? <laughs> yeah, we don't even have a topic anymore. We've got like we've gone everywhere tonight. That is true. <laughs> would you, would you like date slash marry a p adult film star or a stripper? Fuck Wait, no. Would you what now? Marry a stripper slash adult film star? There's no way. Really? For how much money? No, she's not paying you. <laughs> See, I totally would. I don't care. There's this, like, I would always know in the back of my mind that I, I could never please her. Well, yeah, I mean, well, that's true. I, you know, yeah, well, I don't know. See, it comes from me, I'd be I like... I can't even play, please a normal girl. <laughs> At the end of the day, they're getting paid. That that can be your defense. Hey, I'm not getting paid for this, so you better expect sub, subpar performance. Yeah. Let's see. I mean, okay, okay, listen. How... Uh, if you if you marry the porn star, right? How much how much uh, there's no prenup? I would I'd be like, nah, bitch. If you're gonna marry me, we ain't doing a prenup because if you if she's making that kind of money, I want half of it. I want <laughs> I mean, my entitlement. Like a, it's like the Amazon guy's wife. 
Yeah, pretty much. She fucking divorced him, and she's a damn multi-millionaire yeah, now. she's the wealthiest woman in America. <laughs> <laughs> not even joking, I think she You is. know what? I'm not even hating on her, dude. That That know, is the that, ultimate that, hustle. That That is a great yep. hustle. Give her, give her props there. Yeah. Because if it was the other way around, I'd totally be down for that, too. <laughs> and Colton know. likes the older ladies, so... Yeah. yeah. He's like, fucking, he's like fucking Swiss Guard from fucking Metalocalypse, dude. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but... <laughs> oh my god, you motherfuckers have never seen Metalocalypse? I've seen a few episodes, but dude, I have not at, watched it one, religiously. Look at the one where, they do, where they're doing Yopo. Oh my god. Fucking, you have to watch it. You I'm like the guy to. from uh, American Pie that has the thing for his one friend's mom. Oh, Stifler? Stifler's, Stifler's mom? Stifler's, Stifler's mom. mom. It's got it going on. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Stifler's mom. Yeah, you like you like you like a woman that fucking knows what she likes. Exactly. I like impression without any fucking like you know self worth, <laughs> self esteem and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. I yeah. Find that I do well do well with women that fucking you know don't love themselves. No, he's had bad experiences <laughs> with that. <laughs> oh boy. They gets my I, ass I well, involved I somehow. Well until they block me on Twitter at least. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I guess this is Phoenix. I just see a big fucking brown. Oh, see, I do too. We're gonna fuck, dude. We're touching tips, man. I'm fucking but going down to twenty-eight thousand feet right make now. Make sure to dock properly. You can't even see my plane. All you can see are on the are the fucking lights. I don't. I can't even see my wings hardly. God damn it. Oh yeah, just 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 make it gentle. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. Mm. Yeah, that was funny. He's like, let me go off topic. I'm like, what fucking topic? <laughs> yeah, we never really have a topic. I mean, we have a topic, but we always kind of veer away from it. Last week we had a somewhat, we stayed on the topic, but most Flight of the time. level 220? I'm going to 280. That's that 200, even? wait, oh, 200 shit. feet? Oh, uh, did you guys see that David Blaine fly up? In the sky, uh, twenty-five. Oh yeah, in Arizona. Yeah. Yeah. That, and the the funny thing is, that's the like most laid-back thing he's done. Oh, that's United. That's not me. Oh no, I haven't like uh, seen. So fucked up, now, didn't you? Yep. I don't yeah, fucked he up. Flo he floated up uh, on balloons. He was attached to like some harness, um, with helium balloons. He d wasn't wearing a parachute. He had to par put the parachute on. Um, once he reached like 10,000 feet or whatever, and then once he like reached 25,000 feet, he had to like have some oxygen like system for himself. Well, yeah, you're 20,000 feet yeah. with some fucking balloons. Hey, it's David Blaine. I expected a, a sun he's storm. higher. He's higher than I am in this game right now, and I cannot <laughs> see fucking shit. <laughs> Yeah. And I cannot see a them. single car on the road. If you're so high, you cannot even see the vehicles on the road anymore. You need a fucking oxygen mask. <laughs> I had stayed in plane. I expect a little bit more. <laughs> Man, I mean, I, I mean, it looked cool. Like the views he was getting was cool and all. Yeah. But dude, ah, I'm just not. I'm not a height guy. You yeah, know. I sure as hell wouldn't do it. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Fuck took that. For, took forever to, for him to get that high so down. i hope everybody's enjoyed tonight's podcast about <laughs> travel horror stories bear aids and how to jack two guys off with using each other's arms it's called a dutch double dutch or something <laughs> double, dutch dutch. double yeah it's a double dutch, dutch double yeah double dutch hope you all enjoyed that i hope that maybe we taught you something taught you something Wait, new man, no you're landing before you get off this podcast <laughs> no i'm gonna land i'm not i'm not ending yet i'm landing I, don't, I, I want people to watch you crash. I want everybody to point at you and judge. It is an Airbus. I'm not going to crash the Airbus. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Maintain 12,000 feet. It's going to be hilarious if we end up fucking on approach at the opposite end of the road. We won't. You're, you're closer than I am, I think. I, no, I see the brown blob just right in front of me. I'm like, uh, I'm down to I'm down ferret at 12,000 feet. Do you see ferret 41? Fuck no. I'm on a different path. No, the, in the fucking air. Ferret 41. No, I don't. I have the name tags turned off. You fucker. <laughs> Turn him back on. How many people are at this landing zone y'all are at? Oh my god, it's Phoenix. Know. There's probably gonna be a fucking ton. It's probably kind of <laughs> like Phoenix and ATS. Oh There's god. gonna be fucking 315,000 people <laughs> on there and fucking all the air traffic's gonna be in Spanish. Wait, ATS multiplayer? 
You mean what, the server that's yeah, never updated? Yeah, Trucker's MP. <laughs> no, I see, I see Ginsu and Gamer Average. That's the only two. Uh, and Ferret41. Yeah, there we go. I got Ferret41. He's at my 12 o'clock. Ferret41! Mm. We'll probably be seeing each other here pretty soon, I hope. I want to see you. Oh, oh, I want to see you too. Make sure to touch tips. <laughs> he wanted Chris. Well, Chris already cra kind of crashed once. He just fucking gave up mid-flight. Said, "Fuck it, I'm out." Well, yeah, the, you know what? <laughs> if the instruments don't work, my ass quits. I go on hey, strike. Thank you, motherfuckers, for flying jet blue. <laughs> thank out. you, motherfuckers, for flying jet blue. <laughs> I'm over here in a fucking Delta plane, acting like I'm an ass. Holy fuck! You stepped up to Delta? Yeah, I'm in Delta now, man. God damn, you must think you got some skills. <laughs> <laughs> I can only imagine my pilot. Okay, guys, where are you? Dude, but I swear, thank, if I was a pilot, I would say Delta, some. Yeah, we're I'll... sorry for what's about to happen, but uh, we're sorry for your bum holes in your necks. I would say some fucking funny shit if I was a pilot. That would be that would be amazing. Holy shit, you guys ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> I know, man, my country accent. Holy fuck, guys, my <laughs> god, I've never seen so many fucking buttons in my life. Oh, no. Oh, no. I tell you what, man. We flew, we flew for, through a fucking swarm of skeeters here about 35,000 feet. <laughs> so bad I can't even see through the goddamn fucking windshield. I've no never seen this many this buttons on the up. back of a cow. <laughs> they're kind of touch and go. Usually a cow just knows. Oh, man. Uh, uh, Ultimate 2986. Good God, I was way off of that. What the fuck is the altimeter here? Uh, 2986. 29.86. That's gonna be the end of the yeah, podcast tonight, like guys. But we're gonna land this plane. So you all, all right. get you all, all get right. some so bonus you, footage. We gotta get the Did you say 29.86? 29.86 is the ultimer. Altimeter. Altimer? Oh, I did that damn Altima. You're fucking flying Delta. Them are fucking, you fucking with me? Them fucking Nissan Altimers are at 2986. <laughs> Where on now? 29.86? Oh, this is definitely Phoenix. This is a huge fucking city. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm getting ready to hit. Yeah, about 80 miles out. Ish. Oh boy. Goddamn, getting down to 10,000 feet. I'm still at 12,000 right now. Alright, I gotta figure out who to rate tonight once we're done. Oh! I can't rate <laughs> shit on fucking oh, YouTube! Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's YouTube for you. Let me see if one of my. Let me see if uh, some of my people are on. I'll have you rate them. Alrighty. Maybe get you. Get you some bonus points. Mm, yeah. Try to rate somebody that won't end up fucking blocking you on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> God damn, now 8,400. 8, oh, Colton, raid Sid, baby. She's in, um, yeah. she's in, uh, Avian and she's trying to get to affiliate. Oh, yeah. SYDBBY. Where, one viewer. <laughs> SYDB. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> That's all that matters. All that matters. Get that raid over once we finish. As I yeah. We're ready to go. Oh man. Oh yeah, shit, he's telling he's telling me to contact. So I don't know. Contact. V oh, fuck contact it. I'll let my co-pilot do it. Butthole. Contact my <laughs> dick in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I I can't wait to get that game. I just, my computer is just Dude, completely so not able to do it. All right, we're gonna hit our first level of flaps. God damn, you're already that close. Yep. Did you see the airport? No, but I've got the uh, equal sign. It's it was way above it, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. I'm at six thousand feet, so. <clears throat> Games are finally starting to come around and be, not be crap. They've been like crap for like the last what four years or something. God damn! Now they're fucking. They're seven thousand six hundred. Now seven thousand. Uh, six thousand. Oh, I'm sorry. Yep. You got flight sim. You got Tony Hawk. You got um. Tony Hawk. Yeah, Tony he's, Hawk. Pro Tony, he's he's still with Tony alive. Hawk. He's only 50, 50 something. God damn, he's gonna <clears> fucking <throat> break a hip. <laughs> he probably has. God damn it, get off my ramp! <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine like a 50 year old going to a skate park. <laughs> Come on, you overstepper! Stop! God damn it, get off my ramp! Oh, now we're down to 29.85. Drinking Red Bull and fucking skating like pussies. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, Nick, do you see Wappin' Losinator? 
Uh, Wop Losinator. I like. I lost everybody actually. Ah, uh, you dick. Except for like, <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I see. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't have fucking any. God, dude, Phoenix. I mean, I know Phoenix is big, but good fucking god, it is. I didn't realize it was just spread out. Yeah, spread out like your butt cheeks. Fuck hey, yeah. I have been to Phoenix once. Oh, dude, I go every year. On my landing lights. I go every year. Still fucking 60 dude, miles out. my fucking landing lights have been on since I was at cruising altitude. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. He's a, you know, always got to prepare to land. Gerald <laughs> Jones says Nick is so funny. Nick, Nick, uh, he thinks he's funny. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty funny looking. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can join you there. That'll be a pretty funny looking. I don't know, Colt. I've seen some of them girls like your selfies on Twitter, dude. Oh, yeah. So like I'm gonna I'm gonna put together I'm gonna put together like a little uh, I'm gonna put together a little video. Um, for like whenever I get raided and shit, so people can kind of get to know me, you know, get to know the kind of person. And it's basically I wanna gonna get be to a know live you. action, shot for shot remake of the fucking good. Oh god damn it! What? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! I'm just outside of Phoenix and my game froze. Oh my oh god. No. <laughs> yeah. Nick! Oh, that, <laughs> that's the worst. I'm fucking tw like 40 miles out and my fucking game is frozen. So. Oh, DJ, I'm I, I'm all about Colton. I love Colton. I wish I'm I'm trying to get him hooked up. I keep tweeting out to these <laughs> girls that they would go on a Costco hot dog date with them and then none of them would <laughs> say yes or no. Those fucking stuck up bitches. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, if you're surprised. too good for Costco hot dogs, god damn it. Oh, then you get the fuck out back. of here. They get only froze for a little bit, so it's, you, it's back. I only post my upper half because my lower half looks like a pee. I got a booty. <laughs> okay, I think. <laughs> what? I got, what? A booty, I got a booty the size of. Dude, women there. love an oh, ass. God, Show it off, that. dude. I'll you need to start an only. Ohio. You need to start an OnlyFans and bounce that ass around. Then. Yeah, <laughs> you need to fucking clap them cheeks. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, That's I see Disney. It's got me at fucking flight level seven thousand, right? And yeah. Like, I'm about to fucking run into the mountains. <laughs> I can see your gamer like, tag. I see, I see the fucking daunting silhouette of fucking mountains right in front of me. Oh. Oh no. I'm just... not sure I'm gonna make it over them. All right, I'm let's put it on approach level. mode. <laughs> I'm gonna trust it. Oh man. I'm at four thousand. I got approach mode on but, now. Yeah, dude, I'm fucked. Like, I don't know why they had me go down this low. I see oh, your tag. I'm gonna make sure they told me that. <laughs> yeah, it says Des descend to maintain 7,000 feet, but it never gave me an altimeter. Uh, 29.85. 29. For what? 29.85. 29.85. I thought maybe like that was what was. I don't know, man. Like, uh... I don't see fucking Phoenix anymore. You don't? No. That's probably not man. good. <laughs> It's That's probably not working. great. We're about to fucking become the goddamn <laughs> Donner party out here in the fucking mountains of Arizona. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Why is my landing gear not coming down? Oh, there it goes. Oh, God. Make I sure was free. Speed brake set to medium, too. It is. That your auto brake. Oh, this is just entertaining to listen to. Dude, oh, yeah, it, 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 it yeah, took... Fixing, you're, you're, everybody's fixing... Well, I say everybody. I have zero fucking viewers. <laughs> but we're about to witness a fiery fucking death. Dude, I'm gonna mountains. let no fuck that. I land these. I'm flying for Delta now, man. I'm flying for Delta. I fly for Allegiant, and apparently they don't give a fuck about <laughs> that. our old ass plane. Dude, okay, you just gotta follow it. If it runs you to the mountain, you just have to you just have to deal with it. Maybe my Altimer is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Altimer. Maybe oh, actually, go, it's maybe I need to go to Tukamari and fucking get a new Altimer. Fuck you. <laughs> All right, guys. Ah, oh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to uh, Phoenix. Make sure your uh, trays are in an upright lock position. Uh, we'll be touching down in about six minutes. Dude, I'm hauling ass <laughs> and haven't even fucking like I don't even see you yet. Oh, oh. Fucking crossing in front of a UPS flight here. Did, did you did it crash yet, Nick? No. The mountains are just ominously looming in front of my plane. I see, I see his game tag, so he's still alive. <laughs> oh, What's good. Nick's you Twitch? See my tag? Hang on. Twitch. Toxic Dover. 
And that's like the only fucking tag I see. Hey, hey, Nick, what's your Twitch handle? Uh, like Twitch, Twitch.tv forward slash Lil Disney, or they can go to Lil Disney.com. Lil, L I L Disney, D I Z N I C. Lil Disney. Lil Disney. Lil Disney. But I'm not on Twitter right now. I'm on Face. I'm on YouTube's. No, that's okay. I don't know what your what's your YouTube then? Uh, YouTube.com forward slash Lil Disney. And my Facebook is Facebook.com forward slash Guess It. Little, Little Disney. Disney. <laughs> Alright, my ass has got to land now. I gotta quit typing. Alright. <laughs> We're at 2,600 feet. We're getting ready to land. We're going to ride over downtown Phoenix right now. Oh, God. I see. Yeah, I see Boozinator or some bullshit. Oh, God. I'm lagging. Yeah, wa Wapluzinator. I see Wapluzinator. Yeah, he's, uh. He's like right beside me, but he's way higher than I am. I see Disney behind the mountains there. <laughs> he's behind the yeah. mountains. Fucking, he's I'm, over I'm, there. He's by that South Mountain that you're behind. Fucking, South dude, Mountain. I'm gonna, fucking, I'm gonna I'm gonna clear these mountains like with about the same amount of fucking trepidation as I have whenever I really need to take a shit, and I don't <laughs> think I'm gonna make it to the fucking bathroom. <laughs> oh. All right, we're coming in hot and heavy, baby. Like we're we're about One to time. scrape the belly of this plane on these fucking mountains. About to do it. Oh. Flaps are all the way down. Landing gear's down. We're good. Man. That takes me back. So back in the, my uh, high school days, I would drink like a gallon of water in like five hours or something, because um, I would do a lot of pre-workout stuff. And I that's how you got so, that. That's how you got that bubble butt. Oh yeah, I mean <laughs> I was I was pretty fit back in the day. Then I then I then I fell off the rails. But um, we were going to a basketball game and I ri I peed before we went. Now <laughs> the problem was uh, I had this problem where I would just pee with like unknown intervals so like 10 minutes later i had to pee again and we're stuck on a bus for the next 45 minutes and me i'm not i can't hold it in i mean so somehow was able to get a uh, um, small gatorade bottle and was able to save relieve myself unfortunately full on a bus full of people I mean, I used, oh, wow. to piss, I used to piss in a bottle in the semi all the time, dude. 16, I mean, not when you have, like... Throttles out, and we are... The fucking... Dude, the real trick... On the ground. The, the real fucking... The real skill level is when you can shit in the bucket while you're driving down the road. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is skill level. That's... That's, yeah. that's grade A. Like, I drove... Here. I drove from fucking Amarillo almost to Corpus Christi, Texas, and back to Amarillo about... 1,520 miles without stopping. And I was All just right. shitting, shitting in buckets and pissing in bottles. I mean, what do you do with the buckets? I bet that would really sink up the cap. No, you put a lid on it. Like, tie up the bag and fucking put a lid on it. You can Ladies it and gentlemen, we are on the ground. Mm -hmm. You're on the ground, you son of a bitch. Yeah, I gotta tune into ATC and shit right now, though, so I'm let's see. I'm still about 15 miles out. Hey, what's up, Jarrell Jones? Uh... Jarrell Jones? Is it, is it Gerald or Jarrell? Like... I don't want to fuck it up. Shit! I think Gerald. Is it Gerald? I think Gerald. I would think to Ger Gerald. I mean, it's not like you can type and say it's Gerald, <laughs> not Jarell. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. Because then I would read it like it's Jarell, not Gerald, you fuck. Or whatever. I don't know. I'm stupid. <laughs> I was going to call you JJ. Hey, JJ. Why the fuck are you not giving me a taxiway? Because <laughs> <laughs> right. fuck your taxiway. It's probably behind you. Oh, they wanted fuck. me to do that earlier whenever I flew into Phoenix. Yeah, this is my second flight into Phoenix. It's the first one I said. Oh, it's Jarrell? Yeah, motherfucker. I call him Jarrell. Yeah, well, that's because you're fucking from Kentucky. Fuck you. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ, <laughs> Phoenix is huge. Yeah. God damn. Five million people. It's like a big fucking... Hey, I was looking for Johnson. Light and cancer I... and sand. <laughs> There were a couple good jobs in uh, in Louisville. I suppose said that. Uh, I don't know if I'd live in Louisville. I mean, I don't live too far from there, but eh. I mean, it was it was a basketball uh, reporter position, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if there's even gonna be basketball. This was Colton Steiner. This is Colton Steiner on the fucking court. 
And uh, fucking today we're gonna watch these guys fucking run back and forth and throw a ball in a little hole. Oh, no, dude, if, if no fans. If it, okay, if it, if Colton did it though, he'd have to blag in. This is Colton Steiner signing off. Water Diner 69 or Colton Steiner. Hey, exactly. -A -A oh, sh <laughs> shit! Shit, Cessna! Thanks, Cessna! Thanks, What's up? <laughs> What's going on? This fucking says the go, you piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know I. Flip him off. <laughs> I'm about to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> Holy yeah. shit, it's having me taxi yeah, across I'm the whole fucking that, airport. Uh, you run along with. Uh -oh. I'm having to. I'm literally <laughs> driving this plane across town. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna run into this. You know, well, fuck you, says no. Fucking get some in and out for me. A damn Cessna. If he could do that, that'd be fucking. Great. I need to get some in and out. I've heard it's okay. Dude, in and oh, out. Oh, dude, it's great. But... Okay, here's what I love about fucking in and out. Oh, what the fuck? They're, they're <laughs> brutal. <laughs> I apparently hit a fucking. I hit something, and it said it caused critical damage to the aircraft. Their uh, their brutal level of honesty, like in the way that they ask you at the drive up, like uh, they'll sit there and straight up ask you, "Are you going to be eating this in your car?" And you kind of feel like a piece of shit at that point. We're like, yeah, well, yeah you <laughs> fat motherfucker. Get out of here. You're making us fucking all feel sad. And then there's Chick-fil-A <laughs> that's like serving you top tier in your car. Dude, I swear to God, there was one time Chick-fil-A forgot to put my sauce in the bag. And before I got to the road, I saw a motherfucker sprinting at me. With, I'm not joking. People yeah, think... Know. People think I'm kidding. I'm not. He was in a full sprint. He's like, sir! I was like, yeah, he goes, Yo, you forgot your sauce. I was like, oh, God. I'm laughing so hard because I know that's true. <laughs> oh, man. We're out here giving top tier service and freaking, what was that? In and out once you in and out as fast as possible. Doesn't even care. Oh yeah. Anything. Well, you don't have to fly to California, man. I, I know they have them in Vegas because that's where I actually got hooked on in and out. Yeah, they've got them in Phoenix. They're everywhere in Phoenix. Oh fuck, I'm moving to Phoenix. You move to Phoenix, I'll fucking kill you. I'm gonna move to Phoenix. I'm gonna fucking have like I'm gonna write. I'm like in my sand fucking lawn. I'm gonna have rocks that say "fuck you" <laughs> So you can that see that like... shit. So you can, because they use Bing Maps images, so you can see that shit when you fucking fly into the airport, all fucking sad from Kentucky. I'm wearing an ASU shirt time. as we speak. <laughs> <laughs> fucking Nick has a. Remember that time you said you were gonna dump a bunch of uh, Nick Stevens butt plugs on Faviano's front yard? Fuck yeah, I'm still gonna do that. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna drive a dump truck to his house with fucking Nick Stevens gaming. Oh, actually, little Disney now. <laughs> little Disney and fucking uh, and Yoda likes butt plugs. Oh. And yours will have little fucking like coyote tails on them. <laughs> it might oh. be like little unicorn tails, like all oh, rainbow good. and shit, you know? All right. And what about, uh, have we had Whataburger? I, I've had it before, but it's, Dude. I think that's more of like down south, but I don't that's have it. fucking Texas, baby. Yeah, Whataburger, because I had it in Louisiana. Um, that shit, that shit right there, that shit right there, that's what fucking Kale Doubles, I tell you what. Fucking Whataburger is the shit. Was raised on Whataburger and fucking Taco Bell. <laughs> Double say <laughs> butt plug use a cucumber. <laughs> <laughs> Dump a bunch of cucumbers, scraping little Disney on the side of the cucumber. Hey, that's, hey, that's a good sponsorship idea for uh, cucumbers. Hey, put put my name oh. on the side and you'll sell some. What what company what company fucking mass produces cucumbers? A uh, cucumber guess, company? A like, cucumber like, company. Who, hold on, hold on. Every cucumber company mass produces them because they have to sell them to a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> dude, I saw, speaking of cucumbers, I saw the best TikTok today. It was a dude that said, it said, at my girlfriend's house, and it opened up the fridge, and there was a face on a cucumber, and it said, I just fucked your bitch, you fat <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> That's Did he awesome. enjoy the cucumber, though? <laughs> yeah, I would eat that cucumber. Okay, into a pickle. <laughs> <laughs> and that's oh. that's how pickles are made. Just shove it up there, and then out. Come, out oh my God! Pickle. Colton comes out of left field and actually makes a Nick Stevens type joke. <laughs> I think I'm wearing off on everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Now, like half of our friends have dirty minds, and half of our friends are toxic oh, as fuck. I had fuck. dirty mind before. Yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, I've always been toxic, though, so. Yeah. Oh, boy.
<laughs> uh, get me drinking and i'm and uh, i'll be stripping down and, and then check out this livery it's got the fucking las vegas golden knights hockey team logo on the back there can't really see it really good hell yeah i've got i've got there i've got shit, literally right? i've got that jersey right behind me like full-fledged yeah. las vegas golden knights jersey fuck yeah dude it's my team baby oh, yeah hell yeah look las I'm, vegas I'm gonna put it on stream. Yeah, I, I think they should have had like the fucking like they should have named the team las vegas Fucking bad decisions behind the Caesar's Palace. Yeah, they should. Like, I think that'd be a better mascot. And it's just, it's just be my face, like, with a look of shock whenever I grab onto a penis of the thing that has my dick in their mouth. Hey, go look at my stream, Nick. I got your jersey up. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Fuck, I'm in the middle of a landing. Oh, okay. You're landing. <laughs> hey, you, hey, you avoided the it. mountains. Yeah, barely. Barely. We were, uh. <laughs> Yeah, this fucking yeah, Phoenix looks cool as fuck, dude. It, I didn't know this city was this fucking big. Yeah, dude, it's fucking God huge, damn. man. Well, remember, it's a one to one ratio. <laughs> Everything's huge in that game. I mean, they're uh, Phoenix metropolitan area's got five million people in it. It's that's one. Of, it's one of the top. I think it's the fifth largest city in America. No. Yeah, it is. I've no. seen people. Go There's more people in Houston by than population. I, I think Houston may be the fourth largest though. Let me see. I saw him uh, get someone do a video over Cleveland. And then and I know, look, uh, looks exactly like it. DFW has around four and a half, five million, I think, in the whole Metroplex. Let me see. Damn it, just give me a fucking list. Um, um, yeah. <laughs> Cleveland is <laughs> Yeah, here not. it is, Nick, right here. The top 10 is oh, yeah. New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Houston, and then Phoenix. No shit. Yep. Where does Dallas rank? Dallas, Dallas is barely in the top 10, I think. No shit. The Ohio's, uh, Ohio's small. Cleveland has the Cleveland's population is 383,000. See that's I, that's Lexington. That's 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 my hometown's Jarell fucking. Jarrell says he's never been on an airplane, and like as soon as you see this landing, you're gonna see why you've never been on an airplane. <laughs> yeah. So population wise, Phoenix is fifth according to this list. Let me see you where know, Dallas is. There's one thing I wish this game did, Chris. What? One thing I wish this game did. Uh, fucking replays. Like, oh so no. You can, like watch your fucking landings. Yeah, they shit. need to do that. Uh, dude, San Antonio has more people <laughs> than Dallas. No. No way. San Antonio no. has 1.5 million. Dallas has 1.4 million. Well, okay, so that's kind of misleading because Dallas Fort Worth is a whole fucking a city. In, in these itself, these like are the this DF is just looking at met like the actual cities, not the metro area. Because this says Phoenix has yeah, 1.7 look, look million, but it's actually fucking, got five. Look at look at Fort Worth though. How many people Fort Worth has, and they're literally connected. Like, they're the same city. Well, that's and like Phoenix. Like, Phoenix you've is... Got, you've got Dallas, Fort Worth, Arlington, Garland, fucking yeah. Frisco, all that shit that's all... I mean, it, there's no... There's no... Uh, that's kind of like saying, like, what's the population of Manhattan? It, you know what I mean? Like... Mm -hmm. Well, it's like, you know, Phoenix is connected with, you know, Scottsdale, Peoria, fucking Glendale, Tempe. So, yeah. anyway... I, I apply to a job in Dallas. Actually, I was asked to apply to a job in Dallas. Probably won't, considering the 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 size of my town is like five thousand people, and then I'm going <laughs> to a place with uh, one point five million people. So that'd be a little bit of a drastic difference. UK is looking for an assistant basketball coach. You can come down here and apply for that. Yeah, I'll bet. <laughs> there you, go. you can you work with John Calipari. John Calipari. <laughs> <laughs> that would be dope. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the night. I appreciate everybody that stopped by. We're going to head off, though. Uh, I actually buttered a landing for once, so. All righty. Yeah, we're going to go rid, rid uh, Sid, baby, so, yeah. Let's go do it. Oh, well, you go do it. I can't buttery do it. landing. Oh, yeah. shit, I kind of fucking. So buttery. The there. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye.